Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is a junkie, and I'm back with another comic book haul. Um, of course, it's Thursday. Sorry I didn't make a video yesterday, but wife was off with me, so we kind of spent time together. But I did hit the shop. I did hit the dollar bins and found a few books. And I did get some back issues. Um, and I got my new books. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up for the week. Uh, this one was pretty, uh, let me see, let me split them up here, let me see what I got. Alright, so I got one DC book, I got, uh, Detective Comics 1052, with that awesome cover. Um, picked up Buffy, The Last Vampire Slayer, number three. I still need to find number one, I, like I said... It's probably somewhere upstairs. I tried to look for it. I couldn't find it, but I do have two. Issue three came out, so I need to get number one for my wife before I give her this series to read. Um, and the rest are all Marvel. Um, and I believe most of them are X-Men. So let me get the two non-X-Men out of the way. I missed the boat on this series here, Devil's Reign. So my shop only had issue number three on the back issue. So I picked that one up. I ordered one and two off off eBay, so those are coming, and four came out yesterday. I heard this was a pretty good series, so yeah, looking forward to reading that. Um, and then I picked up New Mutants number 24. Weird cover. Um, I picked this cover up, the variant edition of Secret X-Men number one. And, of course, my main man... The Deaths of Wolverine. I picked up uh, this cover here. And I picked up the Weapon X cover. I like this one here. And I picked up this one here. It's alright. I'm not a big fan of Momoko, but it's decent. So I picked that up. And it's Wolverine, so can't go wrong. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I picked up in the dollar bins and the back issue bins. Because it's not a lot, so I might as well just go ahead and show it in this video. So I have a little bit more substance to my ch my channel or this video um i picked up maybe 20 books so i found this little series here batman death and the maidens um i got almost the entire mini series except for one and nine so either i'll look in the back issue bin and dig a little deeper see if i can find them if not i can find them online but there's number two issue number three issue number four Five, six, issue number seven, eight, and like I said, I'm missing one and nine. So I got that little mini series here. Anytime I can find these, and I think these came out to 75 cent each because I didn't buy enough to drop it down to, to a 50. So these are about 75 cent each. The more you buy, the bigger the deal, basically how it goes. Anytime I find these, I pick them up. Superman, Adventures of Superman number 500. Still in the poly bag, and this one looks clean. You know, it's not dirty or anything like that. So I picked that up. Um, found this little mini series. Like I said, guys, I am collecting anything and everything X Men. So I found Cyclops and Phoenix number two, number three, and issue number four. Um, I am not sure. How many is in this mini series? But I got the middle part of it. So um, another run that I'm kind of working on is Electra. This is with the Greg Horn. I don't believe Greg Horn did these, but the first part where Greg Horn did the covers. I'm only missing a few, so I found a couple that I needed. So there's issue number 30, 31, and 34. I believe this this series goes up to 35 issues. I am not sure. It may be 36, but it's it's pretty, this issue is pretty close to the end. And I believe I have one of these already, but me being a big horror guy, I picked this up just for the strict homage of the cover. If anybody knows horror movies, you know what that cover is trying to pay homage to is Exorcist, which is actually my favorite horror movie of all time. So there's that. And now for the back issue bins... Um, here's another, another series that I want to work on, but 
These here I picked up specifically because they're X-Men related. So, yeah. Um, what If. This is What If Volume 2. Um, what If Wolverine was the Horseman of War. He's taken down the entire Marvel Universe, and you're next. I think that's going to be a really good read, so I picked that up. And then I picked, the rest of these, I think, are one-shots. I believe. Nope. Here's another. Uh, what If the Age of Apocalypse Had Not Ended. If you guys haven't read this miniseries from the, the, the late 90s, fantastic. It swaps heroes. Some heroes turn to villains. Some villains turn to heroes. And it set the world in a different motion where the... Uh, it was. It's just a great series. If you haven't read it, read it. So I thought this was pretty interesting, so I picked that up. And the rest of these, I do believe, are all one-shots. First up is X-Men. What if X-Men Deadly Genesis thought that would be very interesting, so I picked that up. Um, what if the X-Men Age of Apocalypse? Uh, what if Magneto and Professor X had formed the X-Men together? I thought that would be very interesting. And two, of course, my favorite guy, my dude. Uh, what if uh, Wolverine, Enemy of the State? And what if... Spider-Man versus Wolverine. So, yep, that's it, guys. That is my pickups for the week. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more videos pumping out this week because I am off for another 10 days. I'm on vacation. So expect more videos. It's the Junkie, and I'm out. Peace.